Hey, guess what happened? No, like, seriously, guess. No, just guess. No, motherfucker, just guess. So yeah, I definitely did not just lose five hours of roto brush because I lost it last night. Um, so yesterday I spent about five hours actually working on the roto brush for the shot I was going to do, cutting out uh, myself from the shot, and it was pretty decent, and I was done, and I stopped it, and I saved it, and I was just going to work on it today. And then a little bit later, I was like, well, I might as well try something. So I opened it and I duplicated a layer and I started working on that. And I deleted the roto brush from the duplicate layer. And then I quit for the night and saved it. And what I did not realize is that when you delete something off of a duplicate layer, it deletes it off of the original, which I already knew, but forgot because that's stupid and should not be the case. And I opened it today to work on it. And I, I do not have the will to redo all of that roto uh, brush tool. And the effect wasn't looking good yesterday when I was working on it. And I don't know what to do. So we're skipping this week. I am going to skip for the first week of this is, this is, would have been the sixth week in a row. Sixth, you, you know what I mean? And I'm skipping for the first time because I feel like I have an excuse. And the excuse is that I got my 3D printer this weekend and set that up and that took most of the time I would have been doing it on Saturday anyway. So I feel like that's a decent enough excuse that I can skip this week and then in two weeks still feel like I have the motivation and urgency to stay on my schedule. So I'm posting a vlog this weekend like I normally would and then the weekend after that, I will do a VFX shot like I normally would. Just another sunny day in Southern California. It's where the people came to play. I just ordered a Creelty Ender 5 Pro, which is a 3D printer I've been looking at for about a year now. Well, maybe not quite a year, but since the beginning of the year for sure. And uh, now I have to clear off this desk so that I have somewhere to put it, because that's what this desk was originally purchased for. So, it's Saturday. It is Talk Like a Pirate Day and International Red Pandas Day. And it is my weekend VFX day. I have decided to do an effect emulating the animation that plays in Assassin's Creed Origins when you level up. It is um, a basically just... In the game, I believe it's supposed to look like the animus uh, is resyncing, and then there's like a shock wave and some dust blows. It's very cool. I can't find a video of it online, but I might record some of me playing later and see if I can catch it and then stick it in the video. Um, but I have here in front of me a little notebook with some notes on what actually needs to be done to make the shot. So I pre-planned it. Um, I need to go take some footage somewhere, um, probably of just me walking. I don't have a story for this really. Um, I do, but not one that I can actually pull off. The, the story I have in mind is something that would be way too complicated. Basically, I'm just going to try and make the effect for now, and then once it's done, I will see about making a little short around it if I can think of anything that seems like it would be interesting and fun and easy. Basically, this weekend, I'm doing this VFX shot, and then I'm recording the podcast with David tomorrow, and I'm going to be seeing some friends social distance at a park, at some point this weekend. So I've, this weekend's very full. 
I always end up planning things on the weekend that I'm supposed to be doing my VFX shot, and I, I don't know why. <laughs> it's a very bad habit. Um, but it's a habit nonetheless. Anyway. All right, so my first idea for a location was just crowded with people in boats. I, I didn't realize it was boating season, I guess. It's still boating season, who knew? Um, so I went to my second location, much less crowded, but still there's some people around here. So, I mean, it's not perfect. It's, I, it's too green and I did not bring my ND filter. I was kind of stupid. And there's a plane flying. So, you know, that's that's all good, I guess. Um, I don't know, we're, we're gonna do it here because I need to get it done and then go do it. So I'm gonna set this up and then do that. Also, my phone keeps giving me storm surge warnings, but I... I there's 36 hours in advance, but it doesn't look like there's a storm. I don't know. There's a tropical storm somewhere. Anyway, it looks like while I've been out here, my 3D printer arrived at the house. So I'm gonna go back and check it out. They never told me it shipped. They just randomly told me that it would arrive today. FedEx messaged me. So uh, if it's there, I get to unbox it and set it up in this video. I'm thinking it might just be the filament though, because I bought some filament too, and I think it shipped separately. So, but, who knows? I don't know. 3D printer time. All right, so I've cleared off a space that's not quite big enough, but I'm gonna try and put it together and then we'll figure out how to get it to fit on the desk. So right now I've moved everything to the side so that it's all set up over here. And then over on that side of things, uh, the printer can be set up. So I guess we open it. <laughs> super busy so I don't know doing my first test print I think I actually got it all set up pretty good um, we just have to wait and see how it comes out and see whether or not uh, there's any issues uh, with my leveling or anything and then uh, figure out setting up the software on my laptop so yeah overall I'm, I'm pretty pleased this is probably the most narcissistic thing I've ever done It's me.
So if you watch the videos with like my brand identity and stuff, you might remember that I was talking about getting a 3D printer uh, with the intention of making my own camera at some point. Um, and that's what this is for, but I have not done anything in regards to starting that project. Um, but first I need to actually like learn how to use this printer properly and get everything set up and all of that. So that's the plan. I'm very excited for that plan. Uh, but first things first, I need to print Bobby's lizard a hat. Okay, I've just sent this free uh, 3D model of like a straw hat to the SD card. And I'm gonna go ahead and print this. Now it said it should only take around 40 minutes, but last time I did a print, it took twice the amount of time it said. So we'll see how long it actually takes. I'm gonna set this up for a quick time lapse since it should last the whole time, whereas last time the battery died. This time it should last since it's not 15 hours. So, um, yeah. And I don't probably need to move that because it's not gonna go that far down. Okay, let's do this. Well, this did not really work out. The, uh, the brim is disconnected from the actual hat. Uh, as I thought, it kind of came undone there. So I never did update. Uh, I took a different model. I bought one on CG Trader and I printed out this hat. It's very uh, fragile, uh, but it'll be a good first attempt hat for uh, Annie. Annie is uh, Bobby's Leopard Gecko. So for the meantime, I have set it on the cat print here as a holding spot. I think it's pretty cute. Yeah. 